Hello, Tommy. Hey, Brownie. Wow, what a beautiful toy. Yes. Can we play both with it? No, of course not. Why not, Tommy? Because it's my toy. I won't give it to you. No, this is mine. I don't want to share. Please, Tommy, you're a good friend. Please. No, -uh. no, never. Please. No. Okay, let's go to Ali and he can, you know, solve this conflict. Okay. Do you agree? Yes. Okay, let's go to Ali then. Okay, let's go, let's go. Hello, Ali. Do you know Tommy is not sharing his toy with me? Oh, no. Guess I'll have to tell you a story to teach him about sharing. The title of this story is Mimi the Selfish Kitten. Mimi is very selfish kitten. She likes to keep her toys all to herself. She doesn't like to share her fish snacks. Mimi's ball belongs to Mimi and no one else can touch it. Her friends ask her if they can all play with the ball. No, says Mimi, it's mine. None of her friends has a secret hiding place. One of her friends has a secret hiding place. We can all we can share my secret hiding place once we finish the game. No, says Mimi again. She won't share her ball for anything. Her friends get tired of asking her to play. They can have fun playing without her. Mimi is so selfish, they say. They walk away and leave Mimi on her own. Mimi is all by herself. It's fun to play alone, she says. Mimi kicks the ball up high into the air. She can do exactly what she wants. It's her ball. Whoops! The ball hit a big black crow. Hey, watch out! What, watch out for you're doing, he shouts angrily. The crow angrily shouted at Mimi. Mimi is frightened when the angry crow shouts at her. She runs off to hide behind a tree. Mimi hides for a while. She could play hide and seek if you had someone to play with. But you can't play hide and seek on your own. Mimi likes climbing trees, but it's not as much fun by herself. Yeah. Meow. What about some food? Mimi has lots of snacks all her on her own. She starts to eat, but she doesn't feel very hungry. Anyway, food doesn't taste as nice when there is no one to share it with. Mimi looks around her. Everyone she sees is having fun playing with a friend. Mimi is alone. Now she wishes she had her friends to play with. But they are nowhere to be seen. Where have they gone, she wonders. Mimi looks for her friends in the woods. She can't see them anywhere. She sees an army of ants marching past. There are lots of them, all in a line. They are helping each other. How nice to have so many friends, thinks Mimi. She's all alone. Mimi wonders where her friends could be. Perhaps they're up on the roof, enjoying the view. She jumps on to the roof to see. Her friends aren't on the roof, but Mimi finds some dragonflies with big round eyes. Do you know where my friends are? she asked. Yes, we do. They buzz at her. Where are they? In the woods, they reply. But I didn't see them, Mimi cries. Mimi hurries back to the woods for another look. Maybe they are hiding from her. Are you there? she calls out. Please don't hide. I'm lonely on my own. I want to play with you all. Can you see where Mimi's friends are hiding? Suddenly, they all jump out. They leap and run around her. Mimi is pleased. She tells them, I'm sorry, I was so selfish. It's no fun being on my own. It's much more fun to play with you. The kittens look surprised. Shall we go and play with my ball? Mimi asks them. The kittens are all playing with Mimi's ball. They jump up and down after the bouncing ball. 
They laugh and purr. They have fun. Mimi is happy. Now she has her friends to play with. She isn't a selfish kitten anymore. So Tommy and Brownie, did you get that? Sharing is caring.